gonna grab a side by side here quick. Just gonna run out to the pasture and do some ranch ferry testing. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're gonna do with that and uh, starting to test some arrows. So that's what we're gonna do today. Run out here to the range quick and uh, see if we can't find some better flying arrows. Welcome to the Whitetail Instinct shooting range. It's not very complicated, just a hay bale and a target. So I was watching the THP guys, good buddies with those guys, and was watching their stuff, and their podcast, I think it was back in January, about doing some of the heavy arrow stuff and switching up their, their bow setups, or their arrow setups, I guess, a little bit. And I was kind of skeptical at first, thought it was kind of a fad. But then I started listening to what Range Ferry had to say and what those guys had to say and some of the problems that they were talking about heavy arrows being able to kind of correct was things that I was seeing in the field happening with some of the shots I was taking. Maybe erratic arrow flight, um, shots deflecting when it hits an animal. So once I kind of listened to some of that stuff, kind of listened to the science behind it, it kind of seemed like that might be able to help me shoot better and be more confident with my shots. And the big thing is just being able to put that arrow where you need to put that arrow. So after I kind of watched some of their stuff, listened to what the ranch had to say, went through his videos, I decided to give it a shot and to try out some of this heavy arrow stuff. So I got the uh, ranch ferry test uh, kit from Sirius Archery. So I'm gonna run through that. I think I got a 250 spine arrow and a 300 spine arrow with a different uh, practice point weight. So I'm gonna go through that, shoot those, and just see which ones uh, work best for me. So this is my bow right here, just a uh, mission bow. I had a mission bow before and it's probably 10 years old or so, so I just decided to upgrade. Didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, figured I'd maybe spend some more time working on my arrows, working on my shooting as opposed to spending money on a real expensive bow. This type of bow can put a deer down just like some really expensive bow. So I went with this, got a new bow, shot it a few times now, got it kind of sighted in at least enough to uh, do some arrow testing. So that's what. Like I said, we're gonna do, using this bow, I think we're probably at about, I think they said 21 feet to do this. So that's like, what, seven yards-ish, I think, is what we're at. So just gonna start putting some different inserts in, start shooting, and uh, just show you guys which ones shoot best and which ones don't. So on that last one, the 300 grain arrow with the 100 grain point flew the best. I'm moving up now, 125 uh, grain insert for both these arrows. And like I said, we'll just keep shooting. I'll shoot all these through and I'll flash up on the screen uh, what the weights are and what the setups are so you can see it and then we'll just slowly kind of work through it. So we're moving, moving on up now. I've got, I think, 150s and 175s in. As I keep mentioning, I'm just gonna keep going, keep shooting through. We're moving up on weight, hopefully shooting straighter arrows.
the best shooting one thus far is a 300 grain arrow with a 175 grain practice tip in it. So this is the last two we're going to shoot here are the heaviest weights for, for each arrow. So I went through and shot all the different kind of combinations for both arrows with the different practice tips. I found four that flew the best out of all those groups. So now I'm going to go through. I think I'm just going to shoot all of these uh, at the target and see which one uh, flies the best. And I'll flash up on the screen which ones, which four arrows or arrow combinations that I'm testing. But I'm just going to go through, shoot all of these at the target and see which one is flying the straightest. I don't know if this is the best way to go about it, but this is my way of going about it and we'll see see which one flies straighter. So ultimately, after shooting all four of those, you know, four of my best arrows, the one that shot the best and shot the straightest. And I think I'll still probably do some more tinkering with it, do some knock tuning with it, shoot it with the fletchings on, and maybe even test some, some different weights or slightly different uh, fluctuations in arrows and that kind of thing still. But ultimately, the arrow that did the best was a 300 grain arrow with a 175 grain uh, practice tip on it. So that's the winning combination, I guess, for, for this field test. So that was going to be the end of the video, but then I decided to do some more testing. So I got higher fuel point weight. So I was testing 100 to 200 in the previous clips that you were watching, and I wanted to test the 200 to 300, because after doing more research, watching more of the Ranch Ferry, I found that maybe that higher fuel point weight, higher weight up front in my arrow, might be better. So I just went out and tested those a little bit ago, and I found two arrow setups that kind of rival the one that I found in the previous clips that you just watched. So previously I found the 300 grain arrow with the 175 grain practice tip was the best flying arrow. So when I went out here and tested the higher weights, I found a couple arrow setups that worked pretty good. One of them was the highest one that I could get, the 300 grain arrow with the 300 grain practice tip in it. That flew pretty good. And then also the 300 grain arrow with a 225 grain practice tip in it. So those were the two uh, arrows that I found that flew pretty good out there. I think I'm going to go back and paper tune uh, the different combinations that I found. So after testing all of those, I think I'm going to go back and look at them a little bit deeper. Those three arrows, arrow setups that I found that worked the best for me were the all 300 grain arrows, one with a 175 grain tip in it, a 225 grain tip, and a 300 grain tip. So I'm going to look at those, tune those a little bit more, and find that perfect arrow. And we also have some exciting news. We're happy to be partnering with Arrow Hunter again this fall. There's actually a 10% discount that you can get if you use the promo code that's on the screen right now. And there's a link to that in the description as well. You can get a 10% off if you buy a tree saddle from Arrow Hunter using that discount code. So we're really excited to be partnering with them again. It's a great company, great tree saddles. We used them all last fall. We were able to get places and hunt different spots, get close to that bedding that we weren't able to do with tree stands. It's all, it allows us to stay mobile. So again, really happy and excited to be partnering with them again. We also have a link to some of our t-shirts and our apparel in the description as well. Thanks for watching guys. As always, hit that like button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything.